The Lost Colony of Roanoke by Jean Fritz and Hudson Talbot. Part 1. Looking. In the 1500s, when America was still a newfound land, every country wanted to be a part of it. The Spanish were grabbing it up as fast as they could. They settled on a piece of leftover land that jutted out from North America. They called it Florida and claimed that it ran up the coast all the way to a big river. The sails of the Spanish ships dotted the seas like giant handkerchiefs blowing in the wind. English sails were there, too, chasing the Spanish ships, for although the English weren't ready to settle yet, they did not want the treasure that the Spanish were finding. Gold, silver, hides, pepper, cloves, sugar, ivory, and pearls. Their queen was crazy about pearls. The Queen of England was Elizabeth, and there were two things that she did not want. A war with Spain and a husband. Still, there were plenty of men who liked to hang